The last section of this course is about implementing a small Internet of Things application using the Bluetooth Low Energy functionality of the microbit. DLE is an evolution of Bluetooth that is supported by all recent smartphones and that uses very little power. For this project, I used the DLE implementation for microbit from Lancaster University. While they implemented services for all the input and output components of the microbit, we are going to use only the UART over Bluetooth service to push some data between a phone and a microbit. By including microbituartservice.h to align IDE will solve the dependencies for the project. The code that runs on the microcontroller simply needs to attach the unconnected, undisconnected and on button A events to the message bus and instantiate a microbit UART service to microbit's VLE service. The onConnect function establishes the connection and then serves an infinite loop where it reads messages and shows them on screen. The onDisconnect function does basically nothing and the button A function sends a message to request new data. There is no more code to write than that, but the API takes care of hunting and maintaining the connection with the other devices. The difficult part is writing the Android companion that receives the request and sends the data to the microbit. For this example, I modified the Bluetooth legat example application, fetch the current temperature from the Norwegian Meteorological Institute and send it to the microbit. You can find all the source code in my microbit kit at repo, but we can take a look at the most interesting parts of the code. Here you can see the code that creates the cut service and the XML stream for downloading the current temperature. This is the message handler that when it receives the button A press on the microbit, downloads the current temperature for Trondheim's latitude and longitude. This is the code that handles the actual download of the XML file. Here, the update temperature method parses the XML to extract the temperature and save it in a flow in a very hackish way. And finally, here is the function that sends the temperature to the microbit. We can see in the Android setting that the microbit is paired with the phone. The microbit is also discovered by the microbit blue application and the C scroll in the LED display that stands for connected. Now we can press the last button and the UPD message scrolls as the microbit asks for an update to the Android application, but nothing happens. Now we open the UART demo in the phone and we try again to ask for an update. The phones answer with the current temperature, that is a quite warm 17.3 degrees Celsius for October in Trondheim. That was all and I hope that you enjoyed this course as much as I would have enjoyed having someone teaching me the skills when I was a student in university. Please leave any questions in the YouTube comments, send me an email if that works better and I'll try to answer as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and I hope that you get inspired by this video to create your own projects.